So the other day I was at Target and I couldn't help but think about the last time I was at Target and it really got me thinking about progress. Before I got really sick, like the worst that I've ever been, um, I used to run errands uh, pretty frequently. I used to even drive myself to run errands and it was something that wasn't, I didn't have to put a lot of effort into, a lot of thought into, it was just something I was able to do. But then when I got really sick, all of that completely stopped. I was really only ever leaving my house to go to the doctor and a lot of the time that was happening um, with a wheelchair. Like I couldn't even walk myself <laughs> into the doctor's office. You know, I had to have assistance. But then as I, you know, started getting my treatment and I sl slowly, slowly, slowly started to improve, I was able to run an errand using a wheelchair. So I'd be able to go on this errand, but I had to go in a wheelchair and, you know, someone, usually my parents, um, had to push me because I still didn't have that strength to do, to do it myself. And this usually happened like once every couple of months or so, but it was still something that wasn't happening beforehand. And then slowly I stopped using the wheelchair and started using a walker. And this walker that I used had like a seat on it so that you know, if I was feeling too dizzy or too weak or I just needed to sit and rest for a minute, I could, you know, wherever I was in the store. But that was progress, you know, moving from the wheelchair to the walker. Again, these errands didn't really happen too often, you know, just maybe a couple of times every couple of months or so, but they still happened. Now, it's not to say that these trips um, went without symptoms or anything like that because I was still, you know, really fighting each trip um, with all my symptoms and I would come home and have to deal with using up all my spoons or whatever and spending the rest of the day, rest of the night feeling miserable, feeling exhausted and just needing to sleep. But the important thing is that I was actually doing them. You know, I was doing something more than just going to my doctor's office. Now within the past couple of months I've felt well enough to run errands without a wheelchair or without a walker and I've just been doing it on my own, which has been a huge progress. And, you know, at first it was still like every couple of months, you know, a couple of times every couple of months, nothing major. Um, I was, you know, at first it started out where I could only do 10, 15 minutes before I really needed to go find a place to sit down. And I was constantly fighting with my symptoms, like I was with the assistance of a wheelchair, or a walker, but um, I was able to do it without those assistance. Um, and then over the past couple of weeks, you know, I've really started to have progress in, you know, the length of trips and the frequency of trips. And, you know, I say that I've been able to go out, you know, three times a week, which is you know, huge improvement, um, and it's it's really cool to see. And when I say go out, I mean like to the store, run an errand, not like go out and do something super fun or anything like that. But we'll get there. No, but it's it's been really great and really encouraging. And I didn't really notice it at first because I when things happen so slowly over a long period of time, it's hard for me to, you know really sit back and think, oh wow, you know, I have progressed a lot. Someone pointed that out in one of my last past videos where, you know, they were like, you should go back and watch some of your old videos because it's evident that, you know, you've improved since then. But since it's been such a slow and long process for me personally, like, it's hard to really see that just day to day. But the other day I was in Target and I was thinking about the last time I was in Target. And the last time I was in Target, I was using a walker. And this last time, I wasn't. And this last time wasn't like a super success or anything because I still had to go sit out in the car while my mom finished the shopping. I don't know what it is about Target, but I get super nauseous in there. I don't know if it's just coincidence or what, but um, it was really bad the last time I was there. Which is a bummer because I love Target. But you know, aside from that, I've also had really great successes. Like, last week, I went to four different places in one trip. Like, 
That's huge. I haven't done that in literally years. It has been years since I've been able to run four different errands all on the same day, all one right after another. Like, that's huge. Um, to people that are healthy, that probably just sounds so silly. Like, how is that a big deal? But for those of us that have to live every single day with, like, any type of disease, um, like, you understand how much of improvement that is. <laughs> That's huge. But like I was saying, like the thing about chronic disease is that it's so slow. It's such a slow process um, that the tiniest improvement can take years. But it's so important to be aware of the progress that does get made. And that's something that I really need to get better on. Just, you know, being more aware of the progress that I am making, that I have made. and. You know, I still have a ways to go, but I've come a long way. <laughs> and um I don't know, that's just really encouraging to me. It was a it was a cool thing to think about the other day. I was just like, wow, you know, I I have made progress. I have improved. And I just I have to acknowledge that. I have to be aware of it. Progress is happening. It happens really, really slow sometimes, most of the time, but it does happen and I think, I think that's cool um, that any progress is being made. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. You know what's funny is that I meant to make this video yesterday, but I woke up and felt absolutely miserable. And I slept all day yesterday because I just felt like crap. So, still having those days. But I'm also having days like today, so I can't complain.